There is no way. Like, th this is not out of spite, isn't it? I, I refuse to believe this. I was going to make a comparison with Jar Jar Binks and say that, well, at least George Lucas had the common sense to figure it out and not have him in the other movies, at least not as much. But at least, like, Jar Jar Binks had the character. Like, like you can think of Jar Jar Binksy things. But when it comes to Rey, like, what exactly does she does which stands out? Like, she doesn't have, like, any cool lightsaber moves. Uh, she doesn't have any cool personality quirks. Uh, she, she doesn't do anything. She's a self-insert. A Mary Sue. And most of all, she's not popular. Like, you can tell by the toys that she's not selling. And yet, they're going to have her back. Why, though? Why? <laughs> Uh, I've been talking with Arch on the Archcast, and what we came to the conclusion is that the only good way to bring her back is if she gets killed by the new villain. So that you can set up the villain as being the big bad, right? Like, even Rey couldn't stop it. Like, uh, maybe they get the Yuan Vong or whatever they're called. They're this alien race which uh, is immune to force powers. And apparently, like, she's going to trade Jedi in uh, the new temple, basically do what Luke did. <laughs> And maybe she's fighting them off and, like, none of her force powers work and she gets killed and then people have to avenge her. Like, maybe that would make sense. Even then, it's... Ugh, I, I would rather, like, just have this entire thing not have happened. And, and, and what's also interesting is that they could also have her as a cameo or something. But if they make her the main character again, like, dude, get the hint. Like, this is no longer, oh my god, my trolls on the internet. Yes, I, it's always the trolls, isn't it? My trolls on the internet are giving bad reviews. No, we can look at the sale numbers. Like, look how well episode 7 sold. So the potential was there. And then episode 8 sells less. And episode 9 sells even less. And then when you get to Solo, you have to decide to cancel the rest of the franchise because the sales are getting so low. And you have to pause all the project and you have to cancel things. Because the way it works with these franchises, you're you're basically reaping the rewards of the next movie. Like, like people go to watch episode seven, and if episode seven is good, they will go to watch episode eight. But if episode seven is bad, they won't go to watch episode eight. Because a lot of people are curious, like they don't know what to expect, so they go there, they see, and then you know they make the decision whether or not to keep going. So the failure. Of the previous episode is what really drives the sales in the next one. And in the case with Ray, like a lot of people have a bad taste in their mouth. But I mean if you if you wanna have her, sure, why not? I mean it's not like there's other actors or anything like that. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, and as usual I will see you in the comment section. Take care.